Why have they chosen this little bit? Might have to move. They're doing like each car, I liked about yeah. half an hour. I went on a photo shoot with my old Juliet, <coughs> or classic and sports car, and we were down in the Cotswolds all day from sort of nine o'clock till half past four. When the magazine came out, there was two photographs. I know. <laughs> this will probably be a three minute clip at the end of the show. Yeah. And we've been here all, we've been here all day. That'll be the new tyres. No. And when we go down and see my parents, we'll be driving around the bloody ground, whatever it is. It's pretty much, isn't it? Yeah, I've been more inclined to go with something with a baseball girl. I wish I'd done that now. And I got Audi all road, and then I looked up all of the first gen. Did it show screenshots of the person now, whereas before actually just had a word? I just don't have I don't have any form of automatic correction on my phone. No. I just don't want to be told what I might be thinking. I thought for it. The bonnet's already up. Yeah, dashboard had a. Mine was done, yeah, um, before I bought it. Action. Follow 
finally, check that all of the instruments work in the main gauge part. Because on mod one thingies like this, cars, DTs. Okay, up you go. And action. Finally, check that all of the instruments work in the main gauge part here. Because on Mark 1 TT, they are renowned for failing. If one of them goes, you've got to replace the whole lot. And that can cost you up to £700. Good. One more for safety. And action. Finally, check that all the gauges work in the main instrument cluster here. They are renowned to fail on Mark 1 TT. And if they do, you have to replace the whole lot. And that can cost you up to £700. You would always get up. You'd get up so much quicker. So they just do a bit more hand movement. Yeah. Yeah. Check that all the gauges work on your central instrument panel because that one TT is a notorious one to fail. And when they do, they can cost you hundreds of thousands of thousands of pounds. Okay, right. And at least four times. Just one more shot from behind. Yep. Say bye. Same thing again. Yeah. Finally, check that all the gauges work on this main instrument panel. Because Mark 1 TT is notorious for this lot of failure. And when they do, you have to replace the whole lot of all these. And that can cost you about the same thing you can. Let's scuff the wheels. Keep all four wheels on the ground. Oh, good stuff. That's good to know. Good You're to know. Feeling nervous, you? Yeah. Your pride and joy. Yeah. Um, S-Tronic was the latest series. This is DSG. Um, although, oh, couldn't categorically say. I'm pretty sure it's DSG. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not until he replaces it. Just a new one. DSG. Go with DSG. Never to be seen again. <laughs> right. Now, if you can't afford the 300,000 quid Lamborghini Aventador Roadster that Jason drove earlier, but you still want an outrageous convertible, then you're in luck. Eye-popping styling, neck-cricking speed, and the ability to ruin your hair. These are the best cheapskate alternatives to the Mega Money Lamborghini, and they can be had from just £3,000. My cheapest choice is a design icon, the Audi TT Roadster. Audi owns Lamborghini, so there's a family connection. The TT is available as a 1.8 20-valve turbo four-cylinder engine up to 225 horse or a 3.2 V6, this one, which has got 247 horsepower. The TT's handling is not its finest attribute, I will admit that. It's got a chassis based upon a Mark IV Golf from the 90s. It's very sure-footed being four-wheel drive but it's not really agile. And of course, it's carrying quite a lot of weight. As it shares parts with the Golf, the TT is cheap to maintain, but there are some things to check for. Audi water pumps had plastic impellers and were known to fail and cause engine damage to the tune of two and a half grand. So if you're looking at a car which doesn't have a receipt to prove that a replacement water pump was fitted, you're better off just getting one done for peace of mind. And that'll cost you about 190 quid. Flat spots in performance could be the mass airflow sensor causing problems. If you unplug it and the flat spot disappears, then you'll need a new one for 70 quid. The TT is one of the best value drop tops on sale, but an extra.